Hi guys. Today we want to find the value of a given that you have 3 to the power of a plus 3 to the power of a equals 300. So let's have it to be solution. Now from here, 3 to the power of a is common. Let's factor it out as 3 to the power of a then open the bracket. 3 to the power of a divided by this 3 to the power of a here will be 1 plus this 3 to the power of a divided by this 3 to the power of a here also be 1. We close the bracket then equals 300. Then from here we have 3 to the power of a dot 1 plus 1 will be 2 equals 300. Then from here let's divide through by 2 so this and this we cancel. So we are going to have 3 to the power of a equals 300 divided by 2. We have it to be 150. Then from here, let's express this as product of two numbers as 50 times 3. So we have it to be 3 times 50 it give us 150 and everything equals 3 to the power of a. The next thing is we want to get the value of a. So what we can do here is to introduce log. So when we introduce log to both sides, log 3 to the power of a equals log 3 times 50. So from here, let us recall from the law of logarithm that when you have log a to the power of m, this particular power we come down to the base as m log a. And likewise, when you also have log a multiplied by b, this will also give us log a plus log b. This equivalent to this. By applying this one here and this here, so we are going to have a log 3 equals log 3 plus log 50. Then guys, let's divide through by log 3. So this and this we cancel. So we are going to have our a to be equals log 3. Then let's distribute this particular log 3 for this and this. So therefore here will now be divided by log 3 plus log 50 divided by log 3. So now, we must recall that when you have A will be equals this and this we cancel. So we are going to have 1 plus log. This will now be log of 50 in base 3. And this is the final solution. For A. If you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. Now let us check. Now to check, from here we have A to be equals 1 plus log of 50 divided in base 3. Then let's check. So we have 3 to the power of A. Will now be equals take it to the power of one plus log fifty in base three plus three again to the power of one plus log fifty in base three. Then is he going to give us three hundred? Now from here we have three to the power of 1 plus log of 50 in base 3 to be common. So we have it to be 2 times. We have it to be 2. Then multiply by 
50 to the power of 1 plus log 50 in this theory. Then it's going to give us 300. So from here, we have this, when you have a to the power of m plus n equals a to the power of m dot a to the power of n. So by applying it to this, we are going to have our 2 as a constant, then 3 to the power of 1, the first one here. Again, multiply by 3 to the power of log of 50 in base 3. Then it's going to give us 300. Now, from here, we have 2 times 3. Because 3 to the power of 1 will give us 3. Multiply by 2, we have 6. Multiply by 3 to the power of log 50 in base 3. Then it's going to give us 300. Mind you that when you have this, according to one of the laws of logarithm, a to the power of log of b in base a, this will give you back your b. Because they have the same base as this. So the output will be, me looking at it, they have the same base as this. The output will be 50. So therefore, we are going to have 6 multiplied by 50, this particular 50. Then multiply by this. Is it going to give us 300? From here, 6 times 0 will give us 0. 6 times 5 will give us 30. Then this will cost 300. So, if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. So, therefore, A equals 1 plus log of 50 in base 3 is correct. And here are the steps. Bye bye. We want to find the value of a, given that you have 5 to the power of a plus 1 equals 50. Then recall, let's have it to the solution. Now, when you have a to the power of m plus n equals as a to the power of m dot a to the power of n. So by applying this theorem here, we are going to have here to be 5 to the power of a dot 5 to the power of 1 equals 50. Then let's divide 2 by 5. So this and this we cancel. We are going to left with 5 to the power of a equals 50 divided by 5. We have it to be 10. Then we have here to be 5 to the power of a equals, we can have 10 as 5 times 2. To get the value of a, let's introduce log. So this implies we have log 5 to the power of a to be equals log 5 times 2. So from here, this particular power, we come down to the base here as a log 5 equals this one, we change to addition as log 5 plus log 2. So what we need to do here is to divide through by log 5 to get a. So this and this we cancel. Then we have our a to be equals log 5. Let's distribute this particular log 5 for this and this. So everything here will be divided by log 5 plus log 2. This divided by this log 5. So log 5 divided by log 5 will be 1 plus now recall when you have log a divided by log b this equals as when you have log of a in base of b so let us apply this ideology that equivalent to this 
here. So we are going to have this to be log 2 in this 5. So finally, we have our A to be equals 1 plus log of 2 in base of 5. Now to check we have 5 to the power of a plus 1 that equals 50 then when a equals this let's see what will happen we are going to have it to be 5 to the power of 1 plus log 2 in base 5 then plus 1 then this is going to give us 50. Mind you, we have 1 plus 1 will be 2. We have 5 to the power of 2 plus log 2 in base 5. This is going to give us 50. Then we have this as 5 to the power of 2 dot 5 to the power of log 2 in base 5. This is it going to give us 50? 5 to the power of 2 will be 25. Then multiply by 5 to the power of log of 2 in base of 5. Then it's going to give us 50. Mind you that when you have a to the power of log of b to the base of a, the output of this will be b. So far the base are the same here. The output will be b. Here also the base are the same. The output will be 2. So this implies we have 25 multiplied by 2. Then is it going to give us 50? So 25 times 2, it gives us 50, which equivalent to 50. Bye-bye.